I'm Catherine Rizak for All Access TV, and I am joined by Stu Reed. Now, Stu has been working on a project that's 35 years in the making. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your project. Well, it's the Gig Posters 204 calendar, uh, which stemmed from uh, an idea I've had for quite a while. Like, I've worked as a graphic artist uh, more or less my whole adult life uh, in some way or another. And I started designing posters for concerts going back as far as 1984. And I decided I should, uh, you know, sort of present a legacy for myself in the form of a website where I put all these things up there. And I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm hoping it's going to be up before the end of the year. But along the way, I thought, you know, looking at all these things, I thought this would make a neat calendar. Final product right there. That looks awesome. <laughs> so what is your favorite show poster? Well, I've got a few for different reasons. Uh, I got to do a, a poster for Bob Dylan when he played the concert hall, two shows there. Yeah, I think it was 1990 or 91. And just because he's such an iconic legend, it was, it was great to be able to do that. Uh, the very first sort of big time poster I ever did, which was for Night Out Entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, was for Steve Earle's Copperhead Road Tour. I was a huge Steve Earle fan. And I went to the Night Out offices, showed them some posters I'd done in previous years and said, I'll do a poster for you for front row seats. And they jumped at it. And I worked for them for the next 10 years. Wow. Uh, probably, but in a personal way, I think my favorite poster I ever did was for a gig at the Spectrum Cabaret with the Pursuit of Happiness which was always a favorite band of mine. I mean, everybody knows I'm an adult now and that's pretty much it, but I've been a fan from day one. And I probably designed, gosh, eight or nine different Pursuit of Happiness posters over the years. And because I was a big fan, I'd always get the band to sign it after the show and I got to know them a little bit. And I think it was probably the very last poster I ever did for them, which is in 97. I had kind of a lousy photo to work with for the poster mm -hmm. and it needed something. So I decided to put them all in kiss makeup and the band got such a huge kick out of it. Uh, I've come to learn that everybody in the band has a framed copy of the poster up in their house. Oh even my now. goodness. Oh my well, goodness. Well, that means a lot to me. Tell us about the Elton John poster you created for his show here in Winnipeg. Well, that was a real honor too. And uh, that was through Kevin Donnelly, who I used to work with back in the Night Out Entertainment days. And, but I hadn't actually worked with Kevin for, for quite a while. All of a sudden he called me up out of the blue and got me to do this thing for Elton John. And it was a poster that was like, nobody's seen the thing because it wasn't used as a poster per se. It was just created uh, for a book, apparently, that whoever was putting the entire tour together wanted a poster for every show on the tour that they were going to put into a book to present to Elton at the end of the tour. And because of COVID, the tour actually got cut short. So I don't know for sure if this book has actually been produced yet. So if you do run into Elton by any chance, don't tell him about it because it's a secret. <laughs> what is your um, creative process in creating these posters? Well, back when I was doing a lot of them, uh, it would be pretty, uh, it was kind of a production line. You know, they'd send you a promotional photo and you just sort of went off that or whatever theme, the album cover that they were, the act was touring around at the time. And you just try to do something, you know, a little unique. I got into this whole thing as a fan, not as an artist. Mm -hmm. And when I got to do something for an act I really loved, I'd always put a little extra effort into it and uh, get a little more creative. So it's all over the place, really. So before I let you go, some of your favorite posters. My favorite posters. Oh, gosh. Well, I should flip through the calendar here. <laughs> Uh, Sunfest was always fun to do. Everybody, uh, well, if you remember Sunfest, you know, you probably weren't really there, but uh, 
a lot of people have fond memories of that every August for, I think they did it for six years. And uh, that was fun. I don't know if anybody ever got an actual sun tattoo, but I know a lot of people talked about it. I may have my own tattoo out there walking around somewhere. <laughs> Those were always fun to do. Well, that sounds great. Thank you, Stu, for chatting with me today. Thank you. For All Access TV, I'm Catherine Rizak. Thank you.